Welcome to the SBL summary. Let's go through the chapter one strategy. As you can see, the picture here, so it's important that we distinguish the soul and muscle. And as we can see there, we've got a very small head on top. However, big body in the, in the bottom, in the middle. So I would say that referring back to the strategy, now the head is referring to the corporate strategy, this, for example, deciding which industries that we should go into. However, the head is quite small, so I would say that uh, it's not looking quite nice as this second photo shows. Because as you can see, the corporate strategy is not particularly good there, as the head is quite small, it's not so big there. However, in terms of business strategy, for example, in terms of how we compete with our competitors, it seems to be quite nice. And the operational strategy, which means to uh, make sure to so implement things properly, is quite nice as well. But we need to make sure that all these three key elements are looking nice, not looking nice for the second and third element, but also for the first element as well. So this is why we need to take a holistic approach by considering all the bits and pieces together when we are setting up strategy for the business. Now, from the SBO exams point of view, firstly, we've talked about the corporate strategy. Now, corporate strategy is always talking about the mission of a business. So, for example, how you're going to be doing things and what sort of things that you are going to be doing. So, for example, from a download, let's say that it really offers uh, quite nice food and using fresh ingredients, and that would be the mission statement of that company. At the same time, you'll need to design the company portfolio. So, which means that by holding what subsidiaries, and that's very, very important, and how to help with those subsidiaries. That's very, very important. So with your permission, let's turn to the next page when talking about the company portfolio. So for example, if you were to buy another subsidiary, yes, you can be the parent, offering your own resources, so for example, usually the patent, allowing the subsidiary to use your patent, for example, usually at very low cost. Alternatively, you can be a synergy manager. So for example, you would like to combine your own department or processes with their department or divisions if you like if you're doing different uh, business uh, lines so for example here for global APC we are the education company and of course we can but we didn't we can buy a subsidiary or buy another company which specializes in printing materials. So we are good at designing the teaching materials and videos and they're good at printing, so we combine all together. So one plus one will be equals to five because there will be three dollars of extra revenue or cost savings that we can enjoy because of this synergy, for example. Alternatively, you buy another company like, for example, a lot of multinational companies such as Tencent, for example, in Hong Kong, and they're acting like the portfolio manager. So, in other words, they are buying another company, but to set very strict KPIs for that manager to follow, okay? So, uh, make sure that it reaches the targets. So, for example, you need to achieve the ROE, return on equity, uh, by let's say uh, 20% at least, for example. So uh, using the hands-off approach, so which means that I'm not going to be interrupting your daily operations quite a lot from the portfolio manager's point of view. Okay, so just to make sure that you get target right. Okay, now this is the second thing that we need to decide. And the third things that we need to design will be our possible strategies, okay, from the corporate level, which means, yeah, from the head's point of view, we need to look at the future. Of course, from the ACCA's point of view, it's always thinking about head, okay, so uh, thinking about a head, that's the important there. Now, 
Regarding the possible strategies, I would say that there will be two types of possible strategies that you can pursue. For example, how you're going to be growing that business, but don't always think about growth okay, when you are setting up a strategy from a corporate point of view. Sometimes you need to rechange your business, which means you need to cut the business lines and so on because you are facing difficulties in the marketplace. Now, how are you going to be growing your business? There would be, from my perspective, four yeah, areas that you can consider. So, the first way so you can grow your business to consider is to use the unsolved growth rate to matrix. But actually, you don't really have to quote them in the actual exam. But what I want you to know would be this. Firstly, you can penetrate the market. So, which means that you are focusing on the existing stuff, including your existing people, which means existing customer, in technical terms, it's called the existing market, and offering your existing product. So, in other words, we are heavily promoting our product or services, okay? Not introducing the new one. We are targeting the old ones. Of course, by using this approach, I would say that it will be the least risky approach that you can always think about that. Now, if the existing customers have already been your customers, then you need to expand your market a bit further. So this means that you need to use the market growth approach. Okay? So it's very important that you segment the market in the right way. So for example, based on their age and gender uh, and so on. So before you move any further. A bit risky compared to penetration, of course. Now, something that we are not usually doing would be to grow for product, which means to introduce the new product and sell it to the existing market. Okay, I would say that you will need quite a lot of costs to cover this up. So for example, the research and development, or R&D, the marketing costs, and even the admin and training costs and so on. So you will need to think about the product life cycle. And of course, you need to emphasize the importance that the sooner that you can recover your costs, the better. And of course, in the current SBA exam, it's highly unlikely that you are going to be diversifying your business. But I'm not saying that it's not 100%. Uh, absolutely not. But uh, sometimes, yes, you can always think about that. But uh, highly unlikely that this would be a case. Now, diversification, so, which means that we are introducing new product and we are targeting the new market. So in other words, we are actually thinking about us to go into another industry. Now, that industry may be quite similar to our industry, and this is called the horizontal diversification. Alternatively, we are looking at from a supply chain point of view that is more likely that you need to think about that. So, for example, you can buy the supplier supplying you with the raw material. So, for example, Heath Global APC, yes, we can buy some companies providing the study tests and so on. Yes, they are my supplier. I can buy them, and, and that will be called as the diversification. Alternatively, yes, you can buy a retailer, okay, responsible for marketing of our courses. Uh, so that would be two forms of uh, diversification, and in technical terms, one is called the backward integration, one is called the forward integration, uh, which means integrating with a retailer. But we don't really have to know that from the SBO exams point of view, but you need to know the basic idea and the quality point. On the flip side, you can grow your business using the organic growth, which means you set up on your own. Okay, so set up the own business. Alternatively, merge and acquisitions. So always think about when to buy another company. So when to buy another company, I would say that when there will be very high barrier to entry, which means that you can't really grow your business in that short amount of time, so why not buy the existing company instead? However, I would say that it will be quite costly, because if 
starts not across today, there will be no good way to be recognised by the company in financial accounting papers. So make sure as they always bear that in mind that <coughs> a lot of time that you will need to pay the premium in order to buy another company. Now, the final ways to grow your business up is to form into the strategic alliance relationship. So, in other words, for example, we're going to be setting up a new company or a new brand with another counterparty, okay, performing the joint venture relationship. So, a good example for this is like uh, the ACCA and the uh, Charity Accounts in New Zealand is forming to a joint venture and offering uh, mutual recognition for both members from the professional bodies. Okay, so uh, it's like a joint venture. Does not really have to set up a new business really, but uh, we are creating a new brand or a, a new project uh, and that's something called the joint venture. APC, accounting for your future.